Once there was a man who dreamed that he was in a great hall where all the religions of the world were gathered. He realized that each religion had much that seemed desirable and worthy. He met a nice couple who represented the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and asked, what do you require of your members? We do not require anything, they replied, but the Lord asked that we consecrate all. The couple went on to explain about church callings, home and visiting teaching, full-time missions, weekly family home evenings, temple work, welfare and humanitarian service, and assignments to teach. Do you pay your people for all the work they do? The man asked. Oh no, the couple explained. They offer their time freely. Also, the couple continued, every six months our church members spend a weekend attending or watching 10 hours of general conference. <laughs> 10 hours of people giving talks, the man wondered. What about your weekly church services? How long are they? Three hours every Sunday. Oh my, the man said. <laughs> do members of your church actually do what you have said? That and more. We haven't even mentioned family history, youth camps, devotionals, scripture study, leadership training, youth activities, early morning seminary, maintaining church buildings, and of course, there is the Lord's Law of Health, the monthly fast to help the poor, and tithing. The man said, now I'm confused. Why would anyone want to join such a church? <laughs> the couple smiled and said, We thought you would never ask. <laughs> now, why would anyone join such a church? At a time where many churches throughout the world are experiencing significant decreases in numbers, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is one of the fastest growing churches in the world. And you heard President Monson today, more than 15 million now. There are many reasons for this, but may I offer just a few. First, this church was restored in our day by Jesus Christ himself. Here you find the authority to act in his name, to baptize for the remission of sins, to confer the gift of the Holy Ghost and to seal on earth and in heaven. Those who join this church love the Savior Jesus Christ and they wish to follow him. They re rejoice in the knowledge that God speaks to mankind again. Another reason is because the church provides opportunities for doing good. Believing in God is commendable, but most people want to do more than listen to inspirational sermons or dream of their mentions above. They want to put their faith into practice. They want to roll up their sleeves and become engaged in this great cause. And that is what happens when they join with us. A third reason why people join the church is because walking the path of discipleship leads to precious blessings. We see baptism as the starting point in our journey of discipleship. Our daily walk with Jesus Christ leads to peace and purpose in this life and profound joy and eternal salvation in the world to come. Those who follow this path faithfully avoid many of the pitfalls, sorrows, and regrets of life. The poor in spirit and honest of heart find great treasures of knowledge here. Those who suffer or grieve find healing here. Those burdened with sin find forgiveness, liberty, and rest. The search for truth has led millions of people to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. 
There is room for you in this church. Come, join with us. In spite of our human imperfections, I am confident that you will find among the members of this church many of the finest souls this world has to offer. If you expect to find perfect people here, you will be disappointed. But if you seek the pure doctrine of Christ, the Word of God, which healeth the wounded soul, and the sanctifying influence of the Holy Ghost, then here you will find them. Here you will find a people who yearn to know and draw closer to their Savior by serving God and fellow men just like you. Come, join with us.